Oh, it's been a fantastic season. Uh, this season, I think the teams are a lot stronger. It's a much stronger league, very competitive at both ends of the table. Um, so, yeah, it's been really exciting. Lots of goals, um, some good players, good football on show. Um, the fans are back, which is amazing. So, yeah, it's been a really good season so far. Oh, I think it's been absolutely massive. It's great to see. I was involved in games last season where there was no crowds and credit to the players for being able to put in the, the level of performance that they have. But you know what a difference it makes having fans back in the stadium, that atmosphere, the noise. When there's a lull in the game, the fans are there to bring it right back. It's been fantastic. I think you know most teams have had an upturn in fans as well. So it's absolutely brilliant. It's that's what football is all about. Yeah, we want to see good football on the pitch, but the whole atmosphere created by the fans is what we all want to see and hear. I'm going to surprise a few people um, with this one. I think that I'm going to go, because I've watched a lot of them this season, uh, my old club Motherwell, I'm going to go for Tony Watt. I think his form's been outstanding. His work rate, you know, his real importance to the Motherwell side. I think that Tony's been fantastic and it's great to see him. You know, a young talent coming through, which feels like a long, long time ago. He's finally found that consistency in his performances. Um, and my little boy raves about him every week. So I'm going to go for Tony Watt. And on the other side, this will surprise a lot of people, I'm going to pick a goalkeeper and I'm going to go for Craig Gordon. I think Craig Gordon's been absolutely fantastic, a huge part of the early success for Hearts. He's been you know, sensational, back to his, his, his absolute best. Um, he's got to be 39 this year and it's quite un unbelievable with the performances that he's putting in. It shows the hunger that he's got at, at the age he is, so I'll go for Craig Gordon and the, the one player that's impressed me the most. You know, by far is Kyogo at Celtic. His movement's been excellent, his importance to that team, phenomenal. And it's great to see a striker that wants to play on the shoulder, that wants to run in behind, that makes movements when the ball's coming into the box to try and get on the end of it. He's been a revelation and I'm sure he'll go from strength to strength. I think it's going to be a, a, a tight race, if I'm being honest. There's a lot of good strikers in the league, um, but I'm going to go for Kyogo at Celtic. I think his movement's exceptional. He makes great moves, runs on, on the shoulder, he's, he's always playing on the shoulder of the defence, he's always looking to get in behind and when the ball's wide he makes great movements in the box to go on the end of the crosses so it will be tight but I'll go for Kyogo. Thinking will be my favourite goal was the one against France but I'm going to disappoint some people um, although I'm extremely proud of it um, the keeper should have saved it, I will put that on record, they should have saved it, he never, it was a fantastic occasion and it will be, you know, live with me forever. But in terms of maybe the atmosphere, the celebration, um, your first goal is always, always the best one. Your first goal, my first goal for Motherwell, first goal for Scotland, first goal, you know, whenever you move to a new club. Um, but I think with the atmosphere, the noise, I'll go for the, the, the goal against Holland in the, the playoff, the first leg. Um, I just think that playing against all these top, top players, um, little old Scotland getting the victory in the first leg, the less said about the second leg the better, but just the noise at Hamden is sensational, um, so I'll, I'll go for that one in terms of the celebration, the, the probably disbelief that you've managed to score against these players, and I have another one that I scored for Everton against Charlton, it's my favourite goal in terms of technique, um, I'm sure you can, you can look it up, but if you want me to describe it, if the ball comes to the edge of the box, flick it over the defender and volley it in at the bottom corner. So for technique, I'll go for that one, but for sheer feeling, um, enjoyment, disbelief, I'd go for the one against Holland. Yeah, there was, there was superstitions. I don't remember every one of them, to be honest. Um, but I think players like to, like to keep a routine. Um, try and eat the same pre-match, try and get the same amount of sleep, get up at the same time, try and you know, stick to a routine. In terms of superstition, when I was getting ready, I would always put on my left shin pad before my right shin pad, my left sock before my right sock, my left boot before my right boot, tie my left lace before my right lace, so that's as, uh, as weird a superstition as I had. Oh, I love my job as a pundit. It might not look it, but I do love it. Um, it's great because you get to go to games, you get to see a lot of different teams, um, and it keeps you involved in the game. You're talking about football, which is, you know, for, for me, apart from the coaching, is the next best thing. So, since I've stopped playing, it's been great to be involved. I've watched 
loads of games, um, talk about them, and it's it's a really good job. It's it's really satisfying. You go to a game, and you get to watch it and see the enjoyment in everybody else's faces, and hopefully you can put your points across and, and tell people what happened.